We'll go ahead and start taking questions for Nick. Our first question is from Jordan Hill. Nick, just want to ask about the energy around the team on Monday when you guys started spring practice. And also want to ask about the offensive linemen, just what you saw from everybody through winter workouts. Yeah, um, first the energy, I mean, we had spring football obviously last year. Um, and so we, you know, getting back on the field in the springtime um, all together, there was a ton of energy. Everybody was excited to play. You know, we were just in helmets, so um, you know, I know once the pads come on, it's going to be even more energy. Um, but it was fun. It was a good practice. We we had a, a solid practice, and uh, everybody got to work really hard. In the in the off season, uh, these past winter workouts, the offensive line, uh, we did really well. Uh, a lot of guys got big numbers on squats and bench and stuff and clean. Um, and so I think that's what we were going for. And uh, I think everybody did a great job doing that and, and buying into what we're doing. Jason Caldwell. Hey, I know you, you haven't put pads on or anything yet, but what have you seen out of two junior college guys, Coffee and, and, and Killian, that they had a winter workout, winter conditioning for the first time? How, how different do those guys look to you now? Yeah, they've gotten bigger. Uh, Coffee got a lot stronger. Killian got a lot stronger, you know, with his knee and stuff. His lower body strength is getting better. Um, and I think it was, it was a big off-season workouts for them, um, you know, getting, just getting bigger and stronger. Uh, I think that's what those guys needed, and, and uh, they, got the, they got the job done. So, uh, How much can they add at maybe potentially a tackle just with those guys being healthy and now bigger and stronger? Oh, yeah. They're, they're good players, man. They're fast and, uh, and big now, and, and uh, they can move. So uh, they'll definitely be an asset at tackle. Next, Tom Green. Hey, Nick, I, I know it's still early. You've only had one practice, but I just wanted to get what your early impressions were of uh, Coach Friend. I like Coach Friend a lot. Um, he's really technique-oriented. Um, you know, we're really learning a new offense right now, so um, just getting everything down with that. And uh, he's a really good teacher as well. I mean, he, he's good at, at uh, explaining concepts and stuff to us. So, um, you know, he's, he's the right guy for the job, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing for him. What's the adjustment been like for you guys so far? Um, the adjustment has been really just learning new plays, learning how, how, uh, the new things work around here and stuff like that, uh, in the weight room and stuff, it's been a lot different. Um, and, uh, and, you know, we're, we're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, it's, it's a lot different, um, but it's, it's a fun, it's a fun experience, fun, fun atmosphere. Justin Ferguson. Nick, there's a lot of change, obviously, with the new coaches and the new offense and stuff like that. But how much does it help that y'all pretty much brought back everybody on the offensive line? So you guys, you know, as the players, know each other really well. Yeah, I, I've always talked about that. It's huge. Um, you know, we didn't lose anyone really, other than uh, Trent Kelly. Uh, he's gone. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, starting five still together. Obviously, Brandon Council is still there. He's learning the new offense and stuff, but obviously not practicing um, with his knee injury. Um, but yeah, it's big, uh, just knowing what the guy next to you is going to do. Next is Philip Marshall. Nick, obviously it's a challenge when you, you're close to one staff and then you wake up one morning and they're gone and then there's a new staff. What, just, just talk about the challenges of that, of, of accepting things as they are and, and then, and then uh, Used to talk with you guys. Yeah, it's uh it's a lot different, you know, you build relationships and stuff relationships and stuff with people and then you know the next day it's kinda like they're gone. Um and then a whole new group comes in. Uh I think the new staff's done a great job though building those relationships with us and, and doing stuff with us that uh you know, we have culture groups and stuff like that with different position coaches um that really help uh kind of build that relationship with other parts of the staff, not just your position group. So um they've done a great job, you know, with that transition. Nathan King. Hey, Nick. I wanted to ask what you have seen out of Keandre. I know last year he was kind of thrown into that, but he did a pretty good job coming in for Brandon. Now with him getting started, having a full off season after winter workouts, just kind of what have you, have you seen out of his preparation? Yeah, I've seen uh, he's really focused, really driven guy, um, really strong guy too. Uh, he can move people off the ball, and uh, he's quick, man. Um, he's, he's got all the tools necessary to be an offensive lineman in the SEC and, and, and the, the next level too. So, um, I think he's, he's a great player and uh, he's a great addition to the O-line from last year and, and uh, he's only going to get better moving forward. Jordan Hill. 
And with you guys having to replace four starters last year, there was obviously some ups and downs. What kind of much motivation do you see among this group? Like you said earlier, you, know, you guys really didn't lose that many guys from last year's line. Yeah, uh, you know, we as a, as a group, we're tight, um, you know, and so the motivation is just to keep getting better every day uh, with the guys that we have. Um, you know, that's our goal is just to be the best that we can be. And, uh, and really, that should be anybody's goal. Um, but we want to win an SC championship. We want to win a national championship. And so it starts in spring football, and, uh, and we're looking forward to putting in the work to do that. Mark Murphy? Anything in particular you're working on personally in your game this spring? Yeah, uh, I'm, look, I'm really working on, like, getting my lower body stronger. Um, you know, I've had a couple injuries down there in my legs and stuff. And so um, just doing that in the off season, um, in the rehab room and stuff like that, um, just to get, you know, quicker and stuff and more powerful uh, throughout my, my lower body. Jeff Spiegel. Hey, Nick, a while ago when you told Tom that things were a lot different, it sounds like you were speaking of the weight room in particular. Uh, what's the biggest difference there, I guess, in terms of strength conditioning or just anything? Uh, yeah, so we had our max week uh, this past week. And so I think one of the biggest differences is that, you know, with Coach Russell, we did, uh, you know, a few reps for max instead of one rep max, um, which is it's not better or worse. It's just different. Um, and so I think that's probably the biggest difference is we, we probably lift heavier, uh, heavier weights. Bill Cameron. Nick, you talked about everybody being back, but is, uh, is everybody back at the same spots? In other words, uh, uh, some cross-training or guys moving around to different uh, different spots than they lined up last year? Uh, no, sir. I think everybody's at the same spot, um, just trying to learn the new offense. And uh, so I think they want to keep everybody in the same spot for right now, at least in early spring. And then uh, once we learn everything, once we get everything installed, we might cross-train a little bit. Josh Patel. Yeah, it's tough. Um, you know, we're all in the same offensive line room. Everybody knows what to do. Um, but it really is just like small little quirks that other guys have, you know, and just knowing, like I said before, like knowing what the guy next to you is going to do, what he knows. Um, so you kind of, you know, as me, I, I make the ID on the offense, and then I know that everybody knows their job, but maybe sometimes, um, you know, some guy might not know. Like, he's been working with the second team center or something, and uh, he just calls it different. So it's just kind of kind of that kind of stuff. Communication is a little bit different, but uh, it's not hard to, hard to uh, kind of learn as we go. We've got one more for Nick. It's from Brian Matthews. Hi, Nick. Uh, thanks for speaking to us. Um, Coach Austin talked a lot about implementing his culture when he arrived. What does that mean to players? How has the culture around the football team changed since he's gotten in? Yeah, so, uh, you know, our model is one and know every day. Um, just take it one day at a time and uh, win that day. And it starts with being on time, being locked in for meetings and stuff, and, and learning what you're supposed to do. Uh, and then you carry that over to the practice field and uh, make sure you know what to do. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's a really great atmosphere, environment to be around. I love it, man. Hard work, you know, work hard work is, is, is what Auburn's all about, and I think Coach Harson's got that down. All right, Nick, thank you for your time. Appreciate sure. it. Thank you, guys.